crib, girl, I know you stay in Jersey Why you lie about where you live? Rarely ever leave Brooklyn It's your ass that got me here Got you arching, got you Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Boogie. And I'm here with one of my battle buddies slash my homie. You feel me? Um, This is the brother that really even introduced me into the Army. Like, he had joined the Army, like, before, before I even thought about it. Because like I told y'all, you know, I decided to join the Army when my daughter was born. But he was the first friend that I had, like, close friend that I had. That um that you know already joined. What you joined like straight out of high school? Yeah. Like, do you think it's better to join like straight out of high school? Uh, I feel like yeah. If you if you go straight you go out of high school, like yeah. you know, you, you feel me? I feel like if you go straight out of high school, then you know you get that that right out of high school experience. I guess that's yeah. the same same shit. But uh, like you you get a different feel on like. What you out doing in the real life, and you get that army experience, which you can use that when you get back. Nah, that's definitely a fact, especially like you know, it disciplines you before you go through all that nonsense of leaving your parents' house. You know, like like the military will discipline you on how to act in the civilian world too. Right. You know, so it actually is kind of good. Uh, come straight out of high school, but um, where'd you where'd you go to uh, basic training again? Uh, I went to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. How was it? Uh, see, I went from summer all the way to spring, so it was it was real hot in the summer, and then it snowed like crazy in the winter. Then it got back hot in the spring, so it was yeah, yeah it was crazy. Like how what, were they like real strict at Fort Linwood? Uh, at Fort Jackson, they really weren't that bad. It was strict, uh, but it wasn't like crazy strict because we still got like chances to go off post and uh, after basic. But like what well, during basic it was pretty strict. Uh but Yo, once you did y'all have on reception at Fort Leonard Wood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh the first week where you gotta get the shots and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I ain't know they did that at, at every basic training. Cause some people tell me that they wasn't even at um reception. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, we definitely had that. At Fort Leonard Woods you will go through reception. Yeah, you said it was hot? Yeah, it was mad hot. Like yeah. That's loud, that's loud. Like, they experienced all four seasons, like. And you said it was, like, like all guys, like, together, right? Well, nah, actually, our basic training was, like, mixed. But, oh, you know, mixed. each floor, like, one floor would be males, another would be females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, they did us like that at Fort Jackson. Yeah. See, Fort Jackson, it was, Fort Jackson, like, people say it's relaxing, but it's not relaxing, like, you know. Fort Jackson is intense to me. Like, you know, part of it was intense. Yeah. Hey, y'all, it's raining. Y'all might hear that rain. Yeah, it's, it's so, um, Yeah, man, Fort Jackson was pretty intense. Like, people be thinking, oh, relaxing Jackson, it's gonna be laid back. But, I mean, it is what it is. And, um, when you go to AIT? I actually went to AIT in the same exact place, like, just in on Fort the different, Yeah, just on a different side of the base, like. So how long was your AIT? Uh, it was 21 weeks. Long. Hey, tell, uh, tell them about your uh, your MOS. Uh, so I'm a 12 Tango. That's a technical engineer. Uh, man got that good money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's like basically uh construction management, like in the real world. So like right now, with uh my military training, even though I don't have like a college degree, I can still go and get like a construction management job just based off my military uh, training. Uh, that's, that's good, that's good. What you gonna call it, um, bro, why you, why you decide to uh, go National Guard, not active? Uh, I feel like it was more of like the recruitment around my school and stuff. And then, um, like my dad actually, was in that was he was in, in National Guard? Yeah, he was in well he was he was active first but then he went in National Guard and he was saying like if I wanted to stay around and stuff then I should do National Guard. That's love. That's love. And they gave me a bonus. <laughs> hey what advice could you give people like that's going to basic training like you feel me? Like what kind of advice could you give people that's going to basic training? 
Uh, I feel like the key thing about going to basic training is having an open mind because it's going to be some shit that you never would have wanted to do or never done. That's a fact. Uh, also, you want to, you just want to, like, not give up. Like, if you give up, that's the key to losing. Like, the, the key to success there is not giving up, showing them that you giving them your all. Yeah, man, a lot of people think that, you know, Basic training is so bad because of the drill sergeants. That's not even what makes it bad. It's, it's a mental thing, like, yeah. you know, like, they don't physically, I mean, yeah, they're gonna physically, like, you know, um, make you run and do a lot of exercises to tie you down. That's just part of it, the physical part, but that's that's not even hard, it's the mental part, you feel me? Yeah. Like, it was really like a mental thing for me, y'all. Like, I don't know, like, like between, you know, being away from my daughter and just, like, sometimes, like, you sleep deprived, just stuff like that, it was just like, man, <laughs> like, and then, yeah, the drill sergeants all yelling at you, but I mean, you get past that part, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then, once the further you get, like, there's, like, phases anyway, the further you get, the, the less they start yelling at you anyway, so, like... Yeah. Once you get through like the first three, four weeks, it get a little easier, and then the next three weeks get the easiest, you know. Yeah. Cause your That's body get used to it, and they don't, they, they don't yell at you as much. Yeah, they, they really don't. Like I want to say, like in, I don't tell me, tell me if it was the same way for you. In Fort Jackson, we had um three, three weeks of red phase, mm -hmm. and then we had three weeks of white phase, and then uh, the rest of blue. Uh, yeah, blue yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that was like you know the graduation thing. All right. Like, yeah, we had the same. We had the same way at uh, Fort Leonard. Red phase is crazy. Like yeah. red phase is crazy. But that's them really breaking you in. Like it ain't like that the whole time. Y'all had like the shock attack and all that. Yeah, when they yelling at you and get your bags and all that. Yeah. Who was one of the like your uh, crazy ex experiences like during basic training like that you would remember? Uh, well, for me, I actually got into like a little altercation, like a fight. And, yeah, and I think it was like white phase, cause really? like the nigga, I don't know. It was like right before we was finna go to bed or whatever. We got like it was white phase, and goddamn, I'm in my locker and nigga just like on a pillow fight. Uh, yeah, and What's the that dude, pillow fight? well, yes. Dudes trying to have pillow fights, like hit me in the back of the head. My head hit the locker because I'm not expecting <laughs> nothing. Like I'm just, I'm finna, I'm packing up. I'm just finna go to sleep, and yeah. they come around with a pillow, hard as hell. So I'm like, man, we got a hook. Like, what's going on? Dang, bro. And then the uh, drill sergeant came up, and it was just we got smoked. Like. We was, they made y'all like do a uh, They made the whole stuff. floor stand in push up position. Why he gave fight, us why he gave us a speech. It was uh undecided. It was a tie. Oh, uh, so he probably telling the story like you won right now. Yeah. You talking about it's undecided. <laughs> it was undecided, got broken up. It wasn't done, it wasn't over. Who was on the ground? Nobody. I was. Glad, glad, glad. <laughs> Nobody was on the ground. I was gonna say it was undecided. It's a GPS looking like. But shit, so take a little left. Is that left? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, I can't. They say around the loop. Oh, no, no, no. It's telling me to go straight. Like, where 85 at? Nah, that's right. I think it's But, um, damn, bro, that's crazy. I ain't, I, I mean, I ain't had no real off. I had a situation with somebody, but it didn't turn into a fight. Like, luckily, it ain't turned into a fight. It's telling me to go on 85. Right. That's straight. See that sign right there? I think that's 85. No, I think 85 is Glen Street because it merged. Oh, all right. But yeah, I had a little altercation. Um, but basically, like, <laughs> this dude, I don't know, like, he was like feeling himself or something. And I asked him to do something simple. And like, he kind of bucked up at me. Like, oh, awesome. <laughs> On some like tough guy stuff, and it was like a real small dude. Yeah. Like, uh, I want to say he was like an Indian guy. Oh, no, you finna turn right. Yeah, you finna turn right. When? At, uh, after the gas station. 
like after. But yeah, and I mean, I I, I shoved them into the um, street coming up right? into the stop sign there. into the what's it called yeah. right here? Yeah. I shoved them into the uh, the oh, locker, but like it didn't turn into no fight or nothing like that. Like he really wasn't in word. Like he was just like, I, right, you know, I guess I ain't as tough as I thought I was. <laughs> but I was just like, bro, like, like you good? Like, like he was just so little. I didn't understand why he's so mad. But man, man, needless to say, man, basic training is really not that bad. Which way I'm going? Keep straight. Which never heard of. Basic training really is not that bad. Um, it's really just a mental thing. Like you're gonna eat good. You know, it's a good exercise, all that, man. You know, free your mind. Uh, I want to say be in a good standing with with all your family and all that. You know, before you leave, because you are gonna miss your people. Like, bro, did you have a did you have a moment where you broke down or anything like that? Not like broke down, but I just like had to sit down and just think about some shit. Yeah, like yeah. most definitely. And I think everybody goes through right here. I think everybody goes through that. Yeah. Uh, which one? They're the one with the car right here. I think everybody had to go through that. Let me see that camera picture. Yeah. All right, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate you. Good little advice about Fort Leonard Wood. Hey, man, it's your boy Ty Boogie. We out of here, man. Hey, now if y'all got any more questions, y'all can hit me up as well at that fly taco. T H A T F L Y T A C O. For sure, for sure. Hey, his info gonna be in the description below. So again, this is one of my uh one of my real close friends or whatever, and he's in the military too. He's in the National Guard. He actually been in longer than me. So if y'all got any questions. <clears throat> Feel free to hit him up too, all right? Again, his info will be in the description below. Hey, man, this your boy, Ty Boogie. I'm out of here, man. Peace. You know, young rich niggas. You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money, though. If your metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Hey! Brain drop, 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 smoking, no cooking, the hot box. Cooking on your bitch, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Cooking up, don't